Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out our filming situation. We're trying to figure out what the heck we're even doing this morning. I'm taking y'all along on a bucket list hunt today. We're going after the, the elk of the East Coast, all right? The Sika deer. Uh, I got a truck full of junk back here. I've got, uh, let's see, Rubbermaid full of extra changes of clothes, extra boots. We got a tree stand. We got three shotguns. I, we just came back from a fishing trip. All right, I got spare trailer tires in the back of the truck. We're just we're just ready to roll out. Okay, we got home late last night, and I said, "Hey, you guys want to go try Sika deer to uh, to my two sons?" I said, "Yeah, let's roll." All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna roll out looking for Sika deer, and I'm gonna take you along with us. I've never been before. I've done the same thing you've done. Gone on YouTube, watch videos of Sika deer hunting, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just figure it out, um, and that's it. All right, let's roll out. Let's go figure out some Sika deer. All right, so here we go. We're going into the first tunnel of this uh, Chesapeake Bay, Bay Bridge tunnel. And it's 5.36 on the clock, end of December. And we're rolling out here to just figure things out. That's, it's basically a scouting trip slash hunting trip. Keeping our fingers crossed for a lot of luck, all right? So uh, putting our hunting skills to the test to an area I've never been before. Uh, taking my two teenage sons out there. We're just going to beat the brush, cover ground, learn the area. Maybe we can learn a lot on this trip that we can apply to an, uh, another trip, right? But that's eventually, as, uh, as outdoors folks, at some point you just got to put your boots on the ground and get out there and, and figure it out. So that's what we're doing today. Wildlife Refuge. Let's see, let's see if we can find a Sika, Sika deer, the elk of the East Coast. Here we go. All right, y'all. Hey, hey, we made it. Oh, uh, so first things first. When you come to Chickatee Island, uh, if you're gonna hunt this place, you come to the Wildlife Refuge, um, the main headquarters. All right, so you could just. Uh, GPS National Wildlife Refuge, uh, Chicotee National Wildlife Refuge, and they'll the map will take you right to the uh, to the headquarters area, and they have a check station. All right, so that's where we're at first. What you got to do is, uh, here, let's go check it out. I've never been here before, so you're coming along with me, right? Um, you can see all the all the info is in here. Uh, let's see what they got here. All right, so here's here's the sign out sheet for uh, late archery and firearm season. There's already, let's see here. All right, there's already 19 folks signed out. But I just talked to the wildlife guy that, that just drove out of here. He said there's 4,000 acres north of here that you can hunt. So I'm going to get my boys and me, uh, uh, myself, signed out here. And then there's a little brochure sign-out thing. You print it off the internet, and you just put that in your dashboards showing that you're hunting out here. All right? So pretty simple. You come in here, sign in. You're, you're checked out or checked in to hunting the uh, wildlife refuge. Keep those passes on your dashboard, and you go hunt. Here's the map, right? If you look on the map online, this, this darker purple area, all of this is huntable. So we're gonna we're down here at the refuge headquarters. I'm gonna sign in, drive this service road, and after talking to uh, the gentleman's name was Kevin. So Kevin, thanks for the help this morning. If, if you ever watched this video, okay? So we're just gonna drive this thing, and he said take it further north, and you'll find more contiguous woods, right? More woods that are all connected uh, up here. And we're just gonna get in those marshes, beat the brush, and find us a sika deer, maybe. Okay, we're just uh, cruising around up here looking at the sights. And here's something you'll see while you're up here. Look at this. Just some wild ponies running the beach. Hey, bud. It's not a sea canoe. Okay, y'all, we're finally hunting. Just parked at the very end of the road, the last access point to uh, where you can drive. And right now we're on the dune areas. We're actually in the sand. So I got the wind kind of blowing from the west-southwest today. So from the shore to the beach. So I kind of wanted to get out here on the beach and look back into the woods and see what we can see. I've never been here before. And so I'm just trying to put all the, the little hunting skills that we all, we all learn over the years to use here in a new spot. So trying to get the wind in my face and uh, 
just get a little bit of a vantage point to see what the heck what the heck I'm even hunting out here. We drove through some uh, interesting blocks of woods where we could get up a tree stand later and uh, maybe check out the marsh in the evening, maybe uh, hunt it like a field edge. But I think what we're going to do for the rest of the day is just get up in here, all right? Get up in this uh, in this scrub and see what we can find. There okay, uh, we've just ducked down into the uh, to the thickets here, and I think seeing my first sign now there are white tails out here too but I mean I got hoof prints here check this out all right you can see a little hoof print right here and continue on right there they look relatively fresh and uh, I'm gonna assume it's a Sika we're just gonna kind of keep weaving our way through here See the trail right here, that mud, you can see back over here, another trail right there. And these trails are just crisscrossing all through here. And uh, like I said, I'm basically just trying to learn, learn about the area, learn what's going on out here. I'm not just gonna sit out there and uh, wait for something to happen. So I'm trying to get in here and learn how these deer move around in these thickets and see what kind of fresh tracks I can see. And maybe by the end of the day, I'll figure it out. And if not, I guess I'll just have to come back. All right, we're crawling through these trails, like pig trails, just trying to get to the open areas. And this is just scouting for me. This is just fun adventures. So here we go. I can't, I can't, I'm on hands and knees. I'm all bloodied up, both hands. My back is all scratched up like I've been in a fight with a cat. <laughs> and I just can't get in there. So I'm gonna come out here to the open, re-attack, figure something else out, maybe go to some bigger woods. But now I have an idea uh, where they hang out, you know, get to learn what the deer do. But there's trails, tracks, plenty of sign all in there. But I just can't get in it. All right, we're gonna go to some bigger woods. Okay, folks, it's about two o'clock and we have Busted brush, pushed the mush, uh, what's another one? Uh, bust the brush, push the mush. We've been in the harsh marsh. <laughs> we're coming up with stuff all day. Uh, what we're doing is uh, going for that last hunt of the evening. We found some good spots uh, here in these pine forests along the marsh. You can see I got a climbing tree stand. And we're just gonna get back down in here, see if we can find some more sign. But it's been a great hunt so far. I've been, been hiking all over this place, basically scouting and uh, hoping to, to learn, learn about this place and come out here and get a deer sometime. But we still might get lucky this evening. So let's roll down this road and find the, uh, find an evening Sika deer. All right, we've uh, busted through the, uh, the little fringe woods, made it out onto the marsh. And like I said, we're basically just scouting around. I mean, there's deer tracks everywhere. So it's just a matter of where do we set up for the evening? Where do I find a spot to get in a tree stand? And where do the boys get a spot to kind of watch the marsh? So I'll turn the, uh, the camera around here and you can see what we're looking at. All right, so you can see here, it's a huge marsh. There's tundra swans and all kinds of ducks out there in the water. And uh, everywhere we walk, there's deer tracks. So. I think there's plenty of game to chase out here. 
It's just a matter of figuring it out. All right, so I just came around a point out here in the marsh and have some company out here with the horses. So be careful while you're hunting out here. Make sure you know what's out here. There's a white horse and a dark horse and then a painted one over here. There you go. All right, pretty cool. Fun adventure today all the way around. Hey, good evening everyone. Uh, end of shooting light and we didn't get to shoot. All right, these Sika deer are tough. Everything you read about them, tough. Uh, but here's the deal, there are a lot of them out here, okay? I know a lot of people hunt Maryland for them. Uh, this Chickateague Island, am I saying that right? It has, it has a lot of deer here, okay? Um, there are trails everywhere, sign everywhere, and guess what? It was just uh, an adventure today. That's what it was all about. And I'm glad I got to bring you along on the adventure, okay? And we put so many miles on the boots today. It's ridiculous. I, I couldn't even tell you. I need one of them Fitbit things to tell me how many miles I walked. But we got our steps in today, okay? I guarantee you that. I've been walking around miles with the stupid tree stand for the past two hours. Um, just looking around with my sons. And uh, it's, it's been great. It's been great. Great uh, family experience. Great adventure to get to share with you. And maybe uh, somebody's watching this right now and say, hey, I always wanted to try that. Or well, maybe this video will help you out a little bit. Um, if you want to come out here to the eastern shore of Virginia and check out Sika Deer. So thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you can get out there and make your own outdoor adventures. Uh, tight lines, good luck, all that stuff. All right, leave me a comment. Ask questions. I'll uh, get back to you. All right, let's roll. Let's go.